cube box, a universal robot system. Are you after the unmanned run? Then check this out. Oh, the cube box, Pete, this is a yeah. seriously flexible system. Fantastically flexible piece of kit. So the cube box is designed and developed by Tezmax and Robot Technologies from uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, they've got 150 units across 27 countries uh, and have been manufacturing since 2009. Uh, there's quite a range of the cube box units. Um, so it can come, as you can see here, as a drawer-based system with five to eight drawers, uh, or we can have it configured with a rotary table or a conveyor system. Um, it can indeed feed one machine, as we've seen set up here on a Brother F600, but it can also feed two machines. Um, so we, could, we can double the capacity on the machine uh, and get unmanned running across both. Um, there can be different styles of technology as well. So it could be a machining centre, it could be a turning centre with the same different time. control systems. Yeah, at, at exactly the same time. One could be added uh, uh, initially with the investment in the automation system. The second could be added at a later date. So what are the capacities on this system then? So this particular system here is a 12 kilogram uh, payload fan robot. Uh, it's double gripper system as we can see here. Uh, and also it's a, it's a five drawer setup that we've got uh, configured with templates. But we'll have a little look at the, uh, the usability and the, and the configuration of the templates later. I mean, it's so small. Right, we'll talk about the software in just a few moments time. Yeah, sure. So yeah, just pause it as we go past, get around the back of the machine. We'll have a, a closer look at the RoboCam uh, software a little later with our applications engineer. Perfect. Footprint of this, it's tiny, is in you know, the whole footprint with this included is like the size of an average VMC on its own. Yeah, average size VMC uh, and the guarding that you see as well. There's no more guarding unless the customer's got specific health and safety requirements. Um, so we've got some, uh, there's a light curtain that we see here. It's configured as a five drawer system. Uh, and on the other side, there's a six sensor. Um, so you haven't got to have guarding around the robot. It's got a vision sensing system. So if you walk close to it, it'll slow the robot down or it will stop it. Um, and then it's really, really simple to use. As you said, we'll have a look at a software in a moment. But you simply, from a billet loading point of view, uh, it's a template system that the customer's got to use across the five drawers. Um, and what you simply do is load the billet to front and right hand side of the slot in each of the templates. Now that template is worked out by a CAD CAM system and it should be noted there's no teaching to do with the robot for that template system. It's developed in the CAD CAM system, a DXF is loaded into the uh, controller for the robot system and the robot knows each pickup point that it's got. So simply from a loading point of view, we pull the tray to the position that we've got here, we load the billet to the front and right hand side of the slot, we load up as many as we need because we can tell the system what positions are loaded or the whole pallet and then we simply slide it into position and then we've got a lock that we've got to make on the control system to tell the robot it's ready to go. Who needs really this? simple. Who needs it? So typically, I mean, you know, we look at OEMs and SMEs, but typically SMEs, so this is going to be uh, full uh, automation of existing machines. I say it can be added to other manufacturers' machines, not just our own. Um, but typically it's going to be the subcontract OEM owner driver type business that's looking to sweat the asset that they've got. They're typically they've been running uh, single shift, they know they've got to get up to two, maybe three shift, but they're struggling with workforce, uh, shift patterns, etc. So it's typically it's going to go into that kind of market. It's going to be about facilitating the hours on a machine tool. Right, okay, I'm going to find out from Sean about how it works, but then I'm going to ask you the all-important question, the investment size. Sean, you're here to show me how easy the software is to work with the machine. Yeah, so it's uh, preloaded with RoboCam. Um, obviously, before it goes out to the customer, we'll be setting it up for the parts that they'll be making to begin with. Um, the setup procedure for the new jobs is very straightforward because of the app layout of the RoboCam software. Um, we've also got the interchangeable gripper on there, so it's fully adjustable for different parts, different sizes. It's all helping that. with the unmanned run, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, we've also got an air blow on there to assist in removing swarf and cooler before it loads and unloads, making sure it's all super clean. Sean, I've been told this is a really easy setup. Yeah, it's very easy from scratch at White House before it goes out to the customer. Um, but if the customer was to uh, set up new jobs, uh, we can fly through the setup procedure for a new job. Uh, it made it nice and easy, it's like an app layout, like your phone. Yeah. Um, you can fly through, you've got your measurements for your billet, 
So yeah, setting up a job, you're loading your DXF file of the template, which the, the billets sit in. We've got a preloaded set of routines, whether it's one machine, two machines, regrip, turnover, all of that, uh, and then you're ready to go. All set up for the unman run, making your go, life yeah. easier. Yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. So the Q box, we found out that it's really easy to use. It's flexible, so why go for it, Pete? Uh, it's compact, it's flexible as we've talked about. Um, uh, from a footprint point of view, uh, as we say, it's very, very small, very configurable, uh, different configurations as I say on there. We can put a mix of technologies across, um, so we can have uh, two machining centres, we could have a machining centre and a turning centre, there could be different manufacturers, different controls. This so it's opening so flexible. much. Absolutely, yeah. So it's all of those things, but from an investment point of view, it's really, really competitive. So it's typically, it's two thirds of the cost as you would expect to see of its peers in the market really absolutely but very well designed very well developed as we've talked about lots of units in the field um, so it's an all-round well designed easy to use compact system uh, that you can put faith in to to get the most out of the equipment you've already got on site or new investments an absolute game changer by it the is sounds cracking of it especially piece of kit for that. the investment level yeah. brilliant so you can get your hands on it from white house machine tools and guess what it's available in stock remember it the q box